LA Tubers, I'm Nia Schemer 345 with Lee Trucker 44. And so we're going to start doing Super Nintendo reviews. Um, I'm still going to do NES reviews, but that's going to hold off on that. We, we, we both thought it would be a good idea to do co op reviews, especially for, for NES games. Yeah, and um, we're going to be doing 10 Super Nintendo reviews, and we're going to move on to N64. But hardware reviews and other console reviews will come out in the future. Speaking of reviews, this is a review of Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And we're going to play the gold ribbon one. This is the million yeah, seller yeah, one. Yeah, well, the only difference this makes is, is you can see right here the uh, medal for player's choice. Just, so? Just, just, like, just like on the, uh, on the GameCube card, on the GameCube cases, like, you can see if it's in yellow, right? Correct. So, let's get started on the review. Of course. As the first Mario racing game, this is Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This was released in 1992 by Nintendo and had Mario in it. A mo bunch of Mario characters in it, which make it one of the greatest Mario installments of, of its generation. Yeah. Sorry through the video quality, we're recording an old CRT. Uh, we can't use the Sony because three other consoles are hooked up to that. Yeah, yeah. it just turns out that Sony does not offer the, the best game quality. I want to see if you can lower down the brightness. I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you're able to. Let's just get started on the review. We're, so we're going to be playing the two-player game. We're, and we're, we're going to, we're, we're, in the two, three different modes, like, uh, Mario Kart match mode and battle. Yeah. And I remember playing this as a little kid. This was one of the first games I played. Yeah, yeah that has to be one, 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 of, my, one of my favorites as a, as, a, as a Super Nintendo player, too. You get a selection of eight different characters, but as you can see here, you see Donkey Kong, but that's not really him. It's, it's actually called Donkey Kong Jr., so it means, since Donkey Kong did not make his appearance until Mario Kart 64. Yeah, you have to use B in this instead of A. But the controls are very easy, and you can explain them. Alright, you, you still just push use B to drive, or sometimes you start to pause, use and Y or X to use I. Left right is for turning your car on D-pad. Yeah. So, okay. alright, we're good. We, so We're going to go to Mushroom Cup Race. So, this was um, very extraordinary for its time. I think it was one of the best racing games. Of course, there was Rad Racer. Yeah, B's to go. Yeah, don't stall with B. Whoa, 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 Hold on, we have a little technical difficulties here. Yeah, sorry about the little confusion and everything. I think we got the wrong controller. It's okay, we'll reset it. There was a quick. What you can do, you don't need to turn off the console. Yeah, sorry for the little technical difficulties. I can't see him, come on. I, can't. This, 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 I think this speed button is broken. Use this one. This is Plug it in, dude. So we'll just leave that controller there. Sometimes these new controllers are a little bit faulty. I would ever prefer. Yeah, the only difference that makes about it is that they're good. Yeah, let's just. Uh, are you good? No. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's good. restart on that one. Yeah, so you're, so, you're sorry about that if for some reason it's just did that. Yeah, but there's also Rad Racer and Pole Position. There's other. Yeah, uh, uh, and uh, don't forget RC Pro and that, that, that's a good one. Hit, back, 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 back. Hit two player. No, no, you did 100cc, we're doing 50. Okay. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna choose our same characters as always. Yeah, yeah I'm like for Yoshi since he is one more has to be one of my favorite Mario yeah. characters. Yeah, also Eleanor is to drift. Yeah, yeah, but I would not recommend doing it since you can like... Unless if you're like good with drifting at these kind of games. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really not one for using it because um, it could, like, it sometimes like easily spin out or something. Unless if you're very good, you have to practice with this. Also you get coins, I don't, I don't think they really do much. And oh, I, and and, and um, speaking of Mario Kart, if you guys haven't heard, Mario Kart A has already been released for Wii U a couple a couple of days ago. Yeah. Also, A is to use your weapon or your power up. And the cool thing about these kind of games is that it, we're two player. Unfortunately, Rad Racer and RC Program, the first edition, it's not a good one. It's How? not it's not first player, but it was good for its time. Alright, but now, let's let, let, let just, let just sit back and let's enjoy the race. Uh, we're also going to be talking about it. Like, so, what was, so, this was the first game you really played, if you remembered. Hmm. Good question, though. This was the first game I remember playing. Also, Super Off-Road. That's an arcade classic. And, 
Plus, I also forgot to mention where's lives. You only get three cards for some reason, if you can see. And I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, bro, lives. However, if you if you, ever, if you get first certain like, like three times in a row, you get an extra life. It, it doesn't really do much unless you just keep on winning. There's about how many races in each? Five races. So it, it's it, it's different. So and um. Mario Kart, the new Mario Kart games, but this is my favorite one, and plus, introduced the first one, yeah. the road course. Yeah, whenever, whenever a character finishes first, it plays its own special theme music. Yeah. Also, another good thing that it sold over a million copies. This proves to be one of the greatest racing games of all time, which spawned the greatest series ever. All right, so we're going to go to the next race, and we're just going to uh, let you enjoy all the chitter chatter. Another thing to add on note is to not only to I also just buying this for your Super Nintendo if you want that classic. I mean, versus emulators and save states. But yeah, but play but, the but, original. But, but there is one thing you you guys to be careful about. The the player's choice one all has a special card, and that's the only one. So I suggest you better try to look for that if you want to give yourself a bit of a challenge for one of those annoying tracks in in, in Mario Kart history, Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road, a lot of people said it was the hardest track they played. Well, yeah, and, and as it turns out, the one for the one for, one for, for this game actually made it to Mario Kart 7 on 3DS. It did. Yeah. And I don't see what's so hard about it, of course, the 90 degree turns, but it doesn't prove to be a challenge, you just have to let go of the gas sometimes. But it's like the annoying thing about it is it's just there are like, like no bumpers or something. Yeah. The graphics are very primitive for its time. They're very it's just, good. Well, it, well, well, so, well, ever, well. Ever since Super Nintendo came in, it was like 16-bit, and like, like the um, N64 was was obviously 64-bit gaming. And plus, for the Super Nintendo, it just showed 16-bit gaming of good good gameplay with good graphics. Graphics don't always matter unless if you're talking about modern games or like homebrews or such. Yeah. It, it varies with what you're talking about. But you can get two different versions. You can get the first edition one, which we do have, and that there is the player's choice. But those are gonna we're gonna sit back a little bit and enjoy the ride. Uh, we yeah we just know that that talking during the rest of this video is not gonna be any good for it, right? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Well, that was a good one. <laughs> it's a good effect for the game itself, really. And this was a cheap game. I think it was like a uh, box or something. I don't, I don't remember. I wasn't there, but Mario Kart. This one, it's just amazing. I don't see why many people play this version. Of course, they might not own a Super Nintendo or such. Let, let's just let's just let's just keep the, cut, cut the chatter and and let's just do, do some racing. How you getting that big start? Well, 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 uh, well. To be known, Yoshi has a bit of a more acceleration boost since he's a bit of a lighter weight. Oh really? Well, I mostly used him in, my, in Mario Kart Seven. So that. there's weight limits. So yes, there are weight limits in this game. Yeah, but in Mario Kart in Mario Kart Eight. For the, for the Wii U, they added a new weight called Featherweight for, for small characters so sort of like, like Lemmy. Yeah. And plus, the characters are more fantastic. And listen, coins actually help you with like, your defensive barrier. If, if you lose some, if you lose, if you lose all of them, you will you will like spin out if you if you bump into someone. And plus, they're like a one-up sort of to get a hundred. As far as I know. Um, I'm not sure about the like NES gamer. I've never seen anyone get a hundred coins in this game. Unless if you're very pro and that you know where all the coins are just by looking it at is very itself. Di uh, listen, actually, I've been looking at the Pokemon around and there are not 100 coins in each level. Yeah. Now, what's not a good game without any shortcuts? This game has a bunch of shortcuts you can find, only if you can jump at the right time. No, I think the SNES one is like the. It's very easy. It's very annoying at some point. 
like with if you crash and then it wastes a lot of time. You can also sometimes lose coins if you fall if you fall into a crevice or something. It it, it eats your up your time really good. This is I think one of the games that was used in Power Fest '94 on the cartridge. Um, we not um, we're not sure entirely sure that yet. Well, I do know because I I've played it before. Um, reprodu um, not reproduction cartridge. I played on emulators, I think. Oh. Or I've just seen gameplay itself. All right, Valter's Castle. So yeah, later characters give you better start off. Uh, you know, I've actually heard certain rumors that actually some secret unlockable characters like King Boo. I haven't, I haven't heard any of that. I, well, I saw it on the video on on YouTube a couple weeks ago. I can't tell if it was just an emulator or or if, it, or if it's just a bit of a hack. Either way, it's a bit of a weird rumor. Was heard. it on? Did it say official SNES? I don't remember. It's been like I said, it's been weeks since I've seen that. Well, uh, it might be on an emulator because you know emulators you can do save state. Oh man, thwomps. Be keep in mind though, when you, when you go to the second lap, they can they can start coming down and they can squash your car. And they can and plus they can block you so the opponents can get to you quicker. Yeah, you'll know if they're coming down. You can see the shadows like right there, but they're blinking, so it'll be very difficult to see them. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this on like a SNES spawn play. We're gonna do one of this. Shouldn't we? I think so. I'm not sure if that may be a very good idea. Well, long plays, you can do pretty much anything you want. It depends on the console itself. I find the control, I mean, you're sliding a lot, and you're bu and once you bump into things... Well, maybe well, maybe you should, you should, you should try to like, like, like tap in the steering wheel a bit. You see what I'm doing? I know. I do that sometimes, but... I know that you can do all that kind of stuff, but just to be really honest, it really controls are a little bit sliding the character movement. Be careful! Be careful! Those, those, those um, yellow mushrooms, those are micro shrooms that they can shrink you just like what a. It was. Like it's like poison shroom in Super Mario Bros. to the lost levels. I'm surprised I did not get you. Because because I managed to jump over at the last minute, causing me to fall into the pit. A little too slow there, NES Gamer 3. Uh, yeah, we track it, but I mean, I've played a lot of games over the years. I, I think this is my favorite game, racing game on the SNES. You, you know, you know, it would be a good idea. Mm. If we can, if we can, we can show them our entire game collection so we have an idea of what it's like. Well, we just have to get a few more Mario games. I mean, I'm missing. Well, we, we well, and also, and also, here's another good idea. What if we let, what if we let our viewers actually get, get. Suggestions for yeah, 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 we can look, we, we can like tell the most one that we can do a video on that. It just depends what kind of game we have though. And plus to add to the fact that Super Mario Kart is one of the best racing titles on the Super Nintendo, you can piss off your friends very easily. There's also other obstacles, even other enemies such as poison shrooms, bananas, oil traps. And, uh, and, and, they're, and like I said, they're not, they're not called poison shrooms, they're called micro shrooms. Everyone knows poison shrooms are purple and those shrooms weren't purple. They, it was like a dark red in Super Mario Bros. 2 the Lost Loves or no, Japanese no. version. Yeah, well, on the, um, well, on the um, Super Mario All-Stars version of it is, is actually the same dark, the same purple one with, 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 with um, mean eyes. Yeah, actually I recorded a gameplay of this on the, on the VHS, and I actually did really well. This game, these kind of games take a lot of practice and memorization, and once you know where all the power and coins up, coins are, you're just going to have to figure out yourself by running into things. Oh, and also, th th this track has also been put into Mario Kart 7. For instance, this, this little booster in here has also been put into, into, into a diagram. You can also use a special bumper near the end to make up, to make up for lost time in case you want to like, give yourself an edge in the battlefield. For any of you like Mario Kart 7 players out there who are I mean, still trying to discover this. Like new Mario games, you can play the retro levels and such, but I just prefer the original sometimes. Because if you're well, just that diehard collector. It, it, well, for me, it just fears on which one I'm in the moon. Sometimes like retro, sometimes modern, or whatever you find. Yeah, any, anything that, that that's appealing to a tour to us, right? Well, this is really has gone a little longer than you're expecting. This is Super Mario Kart for the SNES. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, check out Reach Rocker 44's channel, and also check out my channel.
and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, give us suggestions for more reviews, and as I said in the intro, we're gonna do 10 SNES reviews, so keep on bringing in those suggestions. Oh, yeah, we might even be able to do GameCube reviews after N64 if you want, if you want us to move up the schedule a bit. It just depends on what your, what your opinion is. We can also do what your suggestions. Yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next review. Subscribe yeah. to both of us. Our links are in the description below. Have a great gaming experience, and we'll see you guys in the next. Bye, guys. See you later.